So in this video, we'll be learning about the two newly added features by Carry Home Automation Platform, which is the IR Remote Control and RF Remote Control. And by the end of the video, we'll be integrating both the features in our all-in-one home automation version 3 project, using which we'll be easily able to control up to 4 AC appliances with the help of a Caddy Mobile application, IR Remote, RF Remote, manual switches. Not only that, we'll also be able to monitor live temperature and humidity data on the app itself. With the current version, we can't directly control the fan speed with our uh, all-in-one hardware, but there is some trick about how you can control the fan speed using Cadio a mobile application that we'll be discussing by the end of the video. So stick around with this video to learn something new today. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM and they came up with an amazing product called as LTM 365. So LDM 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LDM 365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your projects over web for review purposes. It do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real-time supply chain data for your components. It also allows multiple people to work on single project. And in the end, it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM 365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video so do check that out. And now let us start with this video. So first of all, starting with the installation of the latest Cadio firmware onto our ESP32 board and for that you need to go to this website and just download the firmware. So here we'll be downloading the ESP32 firmware, but you can also do the same project in ESP8266 as well. Okay. So after downloading the firmware, you also need to download the ESP flash download tool that will help you to burn the firmware file. I have already downloaded it and make sure this is available only for Windows system. So you need to have a Windows PC to flash the firmware. Okay. After downloading both the files, you need to go to your downloads folder and here first you need to extract this uh, file uh, with the firmware file which you have just downloaded. Straight after that, you just need to open the uh, uh, flash download tool. I'll double click on it and I'll start running the flash download tool application. Here just select the ESP32 and click on OK. Now here I'll select the right COM port on which my ESP32 board is connected with and I'll click on the erase button to erase the uh, you know pre-programmed uh, firmware onto our ESP32 board. Okay. Okay, so the flash memory is successfully erased and now we can you know flash a new firmware. And for that, you need to click on this three dots here. And here go to your downloads folder and go to the uh, folder uh, hook, which contains the firmware file okay double click on it and here as you can see there are four different folders containing four different binary files and you need to add all the four ones one by one first of all double click on this folder which says zero cross 1000 select this firmware file and here you need to write the address of the folder okay so zero cross 1000 was the address mentioned on this folder similarly i'll click on the second uh, option and here i'll select the firmware file in the address zero cross 8000 which was mentioned in the folder's name the third one goes by the name zero cross 10,000 so i'll select it and write it zero cross 10,000 and the last one which goes by the name zero cross eight triple zero and i will mention that here as well so this is the firmware file so you need to check mark all the four boxes okay make sure the configurations are same as shown in the uh, video and after that just click on the start button it will start flashing the firmware file onto the esp32 board in case uh, it doesn't start in your uh, esp32 board just try pressing and holding the boot button and the firmware will start uploading Okay, so the firmware file is successfully flashed onto our ESP32 board. So after flashing the firmware successfully, now it's the time to configure our Cadio mobile application. And for that, you need to install the Cadio mobile app on your smartphone, which is available for both Android and iOS. And if you already install, make sure it should be updated to the latest version because the IER and RF features are not added into the previous versions. After doing all this, click on the open button. It will open up the Cadio mobile application. And here, what you need to do is first you need to make sure that the mobile network is turned off and go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Cadio uh, access point created by this ESP32. 
okay if it is not showing make sure you uh, reset the board and uh, the led will start blinking which indicates that the uh, cadio access point is created after successfully connecting to the cadio access point you need to click here go into the configurations and here it will open up the complete configuration page okay now i won't be covering all these details uh, once again because i already covered in the getting started with the cadio video whose link you can find in the description of this video okay i'll cover only the important step which is the 433 megahertz remote and the infrared remote so what you can do is you can just click here and click on yes for 433 megahertz and select the receiver pin of 433 megahertz okay so i will select the pin as 33 you can select any of the pin of your choice and click on yes for infrared as well and select the infrared receiver pin i will select the uh, 17 pin number again you can select any of the cpi you want okay straight after that here you can select the uh, 433 megahertz receiver led pin which will indicate whether the data uh, from uh, the rf remote is coming or not okay i'll select the pin number as three you can choose any of your uh, choice led okay for demo purpose i'll be selecting only one on off button which will be attached at gpio or uh, let's just say 15 okay and i'm not at all using any switch for this okay so it's a simple configuration one on off uh, switch that means one relay attached to gpio 15 then we have the ir receiver attached to pin 17 and we have the 433 megahertz receiver attached to pin 33 that simple configuration uh, i have given here and i'll click on the tick mark button which will save this configuration onto a esp32 board and now it will ask for the wi-fi credentials okay so here i'll select the wi-fi routers credentials which is available at my studio after that you can give the unit name i'll give the name as esp demo and click on the tick mark icon and we are done with all the configurations and within a couple of seconds you will be able to see a new device added onto the application okay so here is a new device called as esp demo and as you can see there is one single uh, relay attached here and when you long press on this button you'll be able to see the two new options 433 megahertz and infrared now before we can configure both this uh, rf and ir devices we first need to attach the ir and rf receiver with our esp32 board so here I'm using this IR receiver, which we were using in our all-in-one home automation project. And I am using a normal RGB controller IR remote. You can use any of the IR remote that you have, even your TV or set-up box remote. For the RF part, I'm using the SRX882S module, which is a 433 megahertz based RF receiver. And I was having a 433 megahertz based RF remote from one of the Sonoff device. So I'll be using this remote for sending the data. And in case if you want to get this RF models, well, we are selling the set of transmitter and receiver through our website, whose purchase link you can find in the description of this video. As of now, we are not having this RF remotes uh, in our inventory, but we'll soon try to find out and add this kind of 433 megahertz based remote in our website as well. So just stay tuned with our website. So after getting all these components, we'll make the connection with our ESP32 board according to this connection diagram. So after doing all the connections, this is our final demo setup. And here, as you can see, I'm able to control this bulb with the help of the uh, Cadio mobile application. But now I want to control it with the IR remote and with the RF remote as well. And for that, you just need to long press on this device. And here first, let's just configure the 433 megahertz. That means the RF remote. So I'll click on it. And here you will be able to see the three different options. One is the on off signal. That means with the help of the one single button, we can toggle the appliance like it will. If, if it is on, it will turn off and if it is off it will turn on okay but we can also assign the specific on and off signal if we want let me show you the demo by just you know assigning the on off signal okay so i'll click on it and as it as you can see it says waiting for the signal now i'll take the rf remote that works on the 433 megahertz and i'll press any of the buttons so i'll press this button and yeah, as you can see, it captured the data stored in this button and it is now saved. So when you check mark on this box, now I can turn on and off the bulb with the help of this button, which is awesome. And it was quite easy, isn't it? And this blue LED is the RF receiver LED. So when I press the button, as you can see, that LED also turn on and off, which reveals that uh, it is receiving some data from the RF side. Similarly, to configure the infrared remote, just click on the infrared remote and here also we are able to see all those three options. Let's just assign the on off signal. So I'll click on it and it says waiting for the signal. So here's the IR remote which I'm using. It is of an RGB LED control, but you can use any of the IR remote of your choice. And here is the IR receiver, okay, the black one. So I'll press any of the button. Let's just press the on button. 
and it captured the data of the on button as well i'll tick mark on this and if i press the on button as you can see the light turn on and with this with the help of the same button i can turn off as well so i can turn off uh, from the ir remote i can turn on from the rf remote and i can also turn off from the you know carry application so we have so many different kind of choices to control our home appliances do click the like button if you really love how easy it is to configure all this kind of interfaces with the carrier mobile application do click the like button right now so after testing everything on breadboard now let's test this rf and ir remote along with our all-in-one home automation version 3 so here also we need to follow the same steps like erasing the flash memory first of all flashing the carrier firmware in it and configuring it using the carrier mobile application just one thing you need to change here is here you need to select the polling method instead of the interrupt one as the interrupt one was not working in this project. Other than that, all the configurations are same as before and here is the final configuration of our all-in-one version 3. Now here I have attached the RF receiver at GPIO 27 of our ESP32 board and rest of all the connections are same as compared to all our all-in-one base projects. And now after providing the Wi-Fi credentials, we one by one assign both the RF and IR remote for each of the switch. And after doing that process, we are now ready to test our project in action. So here we can control all the four appliances easily using the Cadio mobile app and also able to monitor live temperature and humidity data on it. Also, we can control them using manual switches along with its real time feedback. Now let's test them using the remotes. So here you can see it is perfectly working with the RF remote and I'm easily able to control the lights using it. And the same goes with the help of IR remote as well. Not only that, we can get the live feedback from both the remotes on the app itself in real time which is superb. So that was all about integrating IR and RF remote with the Cadio Home Automation platform and now the question is how to do the fan dimming using Cadio? Well, there are two options as of now. First is you can go with the resistive fan dimming method in which you can easily dim the lights and also uh, control the speed of the fan using one single GPIO pin whose video is also live on official Cadio YouTube channel so you can learn from that. But what happens is in the resistive dimming method, me and a couple of my subscribers has faced the humming issue. So I personally don't prefer that uh, resistive fan dimming method, rather I prefer the capacitive fan dimming method. So now the second option using which we can do the capacitive fan dimming as well is using the Cadio Arduino library. So here what you can do is you can attach an external microcontroller with the ESP32 board who already has the Cadio firmware built in and make them communicate between each other via UART communication. And in that secondary microcontroller, you can write the code using Arduino IDE and can program it to do any task that you can think of, even the capacitive fan dimming as well. But the only issue here is we need to use two different microcontrollers to make this thing work. But I was thinking of to make a video about using the Cadio Arduino library and teach you about how to communicate both the controllers and how to do programming and everything. So what do you think? Should I go with making the video a dedicated video on the Cadio Arduino library? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments of the video. And yeah, that was it about this video. I hope the agenda is clear like using the IR and RF remote with the Cadio. I really like the uh, way Cadio putting up this kind of features like really easy to use, easy to configure features. I hope other IoT platform take inspiration of uh, how easily we can, you know, interface these different, different attachments with the home automation platform. So yeah, that's the suggestion from my side to all the IoT platforms available in the market. And yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me techie sms